Mackenzie, and I'm 19 years old and a yoga instructor. And recently I felt called to share the practice of yoga with younger girls um, because the, I feel that I can connect more to them, to you, because I'm not only closer in age, but I feel that I can really empathize with you more. And that is my only hope, to give girls, give people a safe space that they can come to and talk to and really trust because that is something that we can feel that we lack, that we don't have. Like, yes, we have our family, we have our parents who love and adore us, but not all the time do we want to go talk to them about our problems because we might not feel comfortable. So I just want to let you know that I am here for you. And yes, this is a crazy time that we are currently living in. None of us could have predicted what is happening. And I know how I am feeling, which is sometimes lonely, which is sometimes scared, which is sometimes fearful, but in those moments of worry, of fear, of doubt, I know that I have God to trust in, to put my trust and faith and hope in Him. Because when I have that, it gives me a sense of safety and security, knowing that everything is in God's plan. Everything is happening and unfolding as it is meant to. So I just want you to know that I am here for you to talk to and God is here for you to talk to. And I know that you might be missing your friends right now and I am too. I feel you. I hear you. And Nothing lasts forever. Everything is temporary. This whole craziness, it's temporary. But during this time when we're safe at home, we're not stuck at home, we're safe at home. During this time, you have an opportunity to explore what you're interested in, what you're passionate about. You can go paint that painting you been putting off because of schoolwork, or you can go create that dance or that song that your artist within is waiting to do. Or you can hop on your yoga mat with me and join me for a little yoga flow. Or you can message me or call me because I'm always here. I'm not a stranger. I don't want you to think that because even though I don't know you, I know how you're feeling because I have been there and I am there, okay? So I hope that through this practice, this yoga practice, if you choose to practice yoga with me, you can maybe call up your friend and do it with your friend or just know that I am here doing it with you and together we're going to get through this because nothing lasts forever. You know, when you, if you go hiking or even just picture a rainbow, right? You're climbing up the mountain or the rainbow and once you get the top, you go back down to the other side. So we're doing that right now. We're climbing that hill. We're climbing that mountain together. We are not alone. God is with us. He's holding our hand. He's guiding us towards the light to see the light. And he's going to get us over that mountain. And we're going to come back home once again. Home to ourselves, Home to our family. Home to our friends. It's going to be soon. I want you to know right now that you are safe. And you are healthy. And you are worthy of exploring your passions. 
and interests. Okay? So may God bless you today and every day. And know that I am here for you too. Hi and welcome. My name is Mackenzie and today I will be guiding you through a slow yoga flow that is intended to bring you more peace and calm within. So when you're ready, I invite you to find a comfortable seated position, whether that be in Sukhasana with the legs crossed, spine nice and tall, or that can even be sitting on your heels in Virasana, um, but this can be a little bit more on the knees. So whichever feels best for you, I would like you to mindfully find your way there. And then once you are there, I invite you to gently, softly close your eyes, soften your gaze, and begin to tune in with your breath. Noticing each inhale and exhale, the rise and the fall. Beginning to release any tension that may have accumulated in your body, your shoulders, your eyebrows, your jaw. At this time, I would like you to release any tension, any holding in your body. That you might have carried with you from the day, the moments before this one. Which e with each breath, you choose to let it go. And today, we'll, we will be focusing on Jeremiah chapter 17. Verse 7, Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in Him. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in Him. So letting this, these words, Soak in, seep into your being, into every little cell, and begin to embody this feeling of trust, this deep inner knowing that you have within your being, that God is always there every single moment, during times of fear, of worry or doubt, or of love and happiness and joy, in every single moment he is there for us to lean on and with us to experience it, to give us strength to continue going forward. With having this deep inner knowing within the core, within the center of your being that lies your identity, that makes us who we are, 
within this space, you will, you will be given this sense of security and safety from God himself. So as we continue to breathe, as we continue to move through this practice, I invite you to bring this trust, bring this deep inner knowing that is within you forward. Maybe repeat this verse, or simply just repeat the word trust. I trust. I trust in God. Whatever resonates with you and whatever will keep you present here, bring that with you. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. to heart center, sealing this verse, sealing your intention as if it is already done, it is complete, it is happening, you are safe, you are held by the Lord. Bow to yourself. Let your palms rest on your thighs and begin to bat the eyelash lashes open, looking up. And on your next inhale, reach both arms up to the sky. Really reach and think that you're elongating the spine, reaching up towards the heavens. And exhale, arms come back to the ground. And so moving like this with our breath, so inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, arms flow back down. Inhale, maybe gaze looks up this time. Exhale, hands float down. One more time like this. Inhale, arms reach up, gaze lifts. Think of capturing that, those words. And exhale, arms come down. You bring those words back down to you. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, this time turning over to the right. Left hand will come down to reach right knee. Right arm comes behind us as a little kickstand and we find a twist. Maybe gaze follows over the back shoulder. And we breathe here. The inhale lengthens us. Our crown reaches towards the sky. And exhale, we find a greater twist over to the right side. On your next inhale, you come back to center. Exhale, arms release down. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, twist over to the left. Right hand comes to left knee. Left hand comes over behind you. And you find your twist on this side. Inhale, you lengthen. Exhale, twist. On your 
next inhale, you'll come back to center. Exhale, hands come back down. And, this, and now we're going to uncross our legs and then cross them the opposite way. So the opposite foot is in front of the other. Maybe this is a little uncomfy for you. I know it's a little weird for me, but just switching it up a little bit. So on your next inhale, both arms reach up. Exhale, right arm comes down and you find a side body stretch. So left arm reaches up and over like you're creating a rainbow arc of movement, movement on the left side body. Being soft with yourself, soft and gentle in your movements. There's no pushing or shoving here. Just finding what feels good and right in your body. Inhale, both arms draw up, reach up to the sky. Exhale, this time left arm comes down, right arm reaches up and over, creating length on our right side body. Left side body is condensing. Inhale, both arms reach up. Exhale. Arms float down in front of us, hands reach before us, and then begin, you can even um, uncross your legs a little bit so they're almost parallel, like our shins are parallel to each other, um, and then begin to walk your fingertips, your hands forward, we're coming into a little forward fold. Again, there's no right and wrong here. Just do what feels comfortable and what's best in your body. Like It literally might just be right here. Or you might be able to find more length. And when you feel ready, inhale, lengthen, and exhale. Begin to curl inward. Your spine rounds. Your gaze draws in. And you breathe here. Next, inhale, gaze will lift up, begin to walk yourself back up to seated, and then bring your hands behind you, and then begin to like lengthen your spine upward, and then almost lean back a little bit, so then you're creating a little heart opener here. Your chin can even draw up towards the sky, gaze towards the sky. Opening the heart, breathing in, letting the heart almost rest back into the lungs that are behind it, holding it. Ever so gently. Inhale, mindfully draw yourself back up to center. Uncross your legs, and then we're going to come into a tabletop position. So our wrists will be beneath our shoulders and our knees beneath our hips. And if this is too much on your knees, feel free to, if you don't have a blanket, you can either bring a blanket underneath your knees or just fold your mat so you create extra cushioning. But just find a place that feels good for you. And then once you're here, find your relationship 
to the earth. Let the earth's energy rise up through your, the palm of your hand, through your arms, back down your spine, and then out your tail and your feet. And letting your front body support your back body. So thinking your rib cages are coming like together, they're knitting together. So they're holding up the back body to find support. And breathe. And on your next inhale, we're gonna begin to drop the belly towards the floor. Gaze, head, crown, jaws forward, tail lengthens up to the sky. So this is cow pose. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Begin to round the spine. Navel draws up and in towards the back body. Gaze, chin draws towards the chest. And you round like a cat. This cat pose. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Begin to drop the belly, lengthen the crown, and gaze towards the sky. Cow pose. And then exhale round the spine. Curl the chin and chest in. So we're going to begin to move like this. So the inhale draws us forward and up, cow pose, and exhale, spine rounds in, we draw inward. So moving like this with your breath, letting each breath guide the movement. Couple more like this. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, we'll return back to center. Sink your sit bones back towards your heels and find child's pose. So legs, like the thighs, can either be together or the toes can come to touch. Knees can draw out to the edges of your mat. Sit bones sink towards your heels. Palms walk forward and you begin to rest your forehead down onto your mat. And let your heart melt to the floor to the earth. And breathe here. Surrender all your worries, all your fears, all your doubts into the earth. Trust in God. Trust that He is here with you, holding you, turning your fear into love. Don't you ever forget you are a child of the Lord. On your next inhale, your navel will draw up towards the spine and draw you forward. Left palm will come in towards the middle center of your mat. And your next inhale, 
right arm will reach up towards the sky. You'll open chest, arm up. And exhale like you're threading a needle. Your right arm will come behind your left arm. And you'll begin to rest your right shoulder, the right side of your face onto the earth. Tail lengthens up towards the sky. You pause here to breathe. And using the left palm, you'll inhale, bring you up, right arm draws up towards the sky. Exhale, arm threads through. Inhale, arm reaches up towards the sky. Exhale, arm comes through. Inhale, one more time, arm reaches up. Exhale, arm threads through. Inhale, arm comes back to the center of your mat. And inhale, left arm draws up to the sky. Left side opens. Exhale, arm threads behind the right arm through as if you're threading the needle. Left shoulder, left side of your face, rest onto the earth. Right arm is at 90 degrees. And breathe. Inviting a new space, new clean energy. Using your right hand, you'll push into the earth. Left arm spirals open. Inhale, exhale, thread arm through. Inhale. Left arm reaches up, exhale, you come through, inhale, open, exhale, inhale, draws you back up, forward, knees come back together, sitting on your heels. Inhale, arms reach up towards the sky. Exhale, hands at heart center. And pause here for a breath. Inhale. Exhale. And come forward, back to table. And then curl the toes under. Push into the earth. You're receiving the earth's energy to draw you up, tail will reach up towards the sky, downward facing dog. Begin to pedal out your feet here. One foot drawing up at a time, breathing into the backs of our legs to create length and space. Think as if the earth's energy is coming up through your palms, through your arms, through your spine, and then out through your tail, back up to the heavens. Your tail reaches up and long. Heels sink towards the earth. And then mindfully step up towards the front of your mat, coming to the front to a forward fold. Knees can be bent or straight, and just let your head hang loose. Maybe you brush your fingertips from side to side. You can even be creative here and imagine you're writing your, the name of someone you love in the sand. Or you're painting a picture. Just let yourself be creative here. 
Be intuitive and find what feels good in your body. Maybe just find stillness. And then finding a bend in your knees so your torso can rest on your the thighs. Tuck your chin into your chest and slowly roll up, coming to stand. Shoulders loop up and around and back down your spine. And pause here in Tadasana. Stand. Your heart is open. Your palms are open. You are ready to receive the gifts that God has for you. going to take a couple half Surya Namaskars, half Sun Salutations. I will guide you, of course. <laughs> so on your next inhale, both arms reach up towards the sky. Think lengthening. Then exhale forward fold. You pour yourself down to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift, palms come to shins, or maybe tops of your thighs, creating this L shape. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, using the earth, bend your knees, rise up to stand. Exhale, hands to heart center. Pause. Breathe. more like that. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands come to shins or thighs. Exhale, fold. Inhale, using the earth, rise, come to stand, haul. Exhale, hands at heart center. And one more like this. Inhale, both arms reach up tall to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Letting go of any stress, any tension. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, come to stand, tall. Exhale, hands at heart center. And pause here a few breaths. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Next, inhale, both arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, fold. And now, begin to bend the knees. So much that you, you come into this little ball, maybe on your toes. And just curl your, your gaze, your head inward, coming into this ball. Say, I love you. Say thank you, body. And then slowly let your heels come down, hands walk behind you, and mindfully sit yourself back on your mat. And return to a comfortable.
comfortable seated position with legs crossed. Close your eyes. Palms face up or down. Take a deep breath in. A deep breath out. And begin to imagine that there is this bright white light that surrounds you, that surrounds your physical being. It is one that is emanating from your heart center. That is rippling out from your heart and creating this protective bright white light. And this is the light that protects you, the light that reminds you that you are blessed. You are blessed beyond belief because you are a child of the Lord. God is here for you, and God is with you every step of the way. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. Take a deep breath in, a deep breath out. Begin to bat your eyelashes open, bring your hands to heart center, and thank yourself for showing up here today and for receiving the gifts that this practice has to offer and that God has to offer you. God bless you.